Nagel, good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. And Beth Irons, good morning. How are you? I'm great. I have some Principia in front of me, and I'm just having a great time with that. What is Principia? I don't even know what or that Principia. is. Or Principia. Principia. And that's Principia. what this is, right? I love the fact that Nagel's, uh, uh, the growler that's a tap that he brings in, has got volume to it. I'm like, what is that sound? Mm. It's, it's pretty, uh, it's got some volume to All it. All right, this has some, speaking of volume, mm. this has uh, some many, many flavors in it. Oh. Explain what we're, we're tasting here. A volume of hops. So um, Principia is their IPA. It's one of their most popular beers. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> yep. Uh, so uh, Principia is a woodland uh, brewery in Marcy. It's their uh, IPA. It's one of their most popular beers. And um, ordinarily, uh, Keith makes this with uh, New York State Centennial and New York State uh, Citra Hops. This time, this batch, he decided to mix it up a little bit, and mm-hmm. he used uh, mosaic hops instead. So that's where you're getting that real tropical fruit oh, flavor. Yeah, a lot, too. Yeah, a and lot it's of really, flavor. it's like juicy fruit gum almost. Yeah. This is yeah. a really good batch of this. So. All natural, no fruit put nope, in this nope. or any of, that, uh, nope. any of that stuff. Almost so, all New York State ingredients. Really good. So it's available right here in Marcy. Absolutely. Uh, on tap, though. Correct. Yeah, uh, but they fill growlers, crawlers. And cans. And yeah. cans. Well, the, yeah. The, yeah. Anything they do you cans bring? now? Mm-hmm. So they just fill they're them big, up? They're like six well, feet? that's a crawler. Yep. Oh, oh, crawler. A yep. crowler. Oh. Crawler. A crawler. Can, can growler. That is. A canned growler. Can. Okay. Can. Okay. It's, like, it's got to be, be, what, 20 ounces? I think it's 32. Okay. I think it's oh, wow. A big, big can. can. Really cool. Uh, all right, good stuff, Nagel. This is really, really flavorful. Perfect for summer, and, uh, spring. When I'm at when we're awesome. at Woodland, this is the only thing I drink. Yeah, oh, really good. All right, really good. Uh, Beth, you, it is market uh, week. It is. We are on here. this weekend. This is our our second March market. We have two more markets left in our winter season after this weekend. You might be in the midst of uh, of a bit of a snowstorm, tail end of a snowstorm. Shh. I know. <laughs> We're getting it that might, all tomorrow. It might be rain, yeah, though. It be it's rain. possible we get the, By the rain. By Saturday morning, that. the roads will be clear, the sun will be out, birds will be singing. And that is exactly yep. how I'm going to predict it. Snow white yeah. dress we'll on. We'll be golfing. So. I, I, I can't <laughs> wait on the snow white dress. That's awesome. Uh, okay, so a little preview of uh, what's to come here this week, but then beyond. Uh, um, we have, Like I said, we have two more left, um, two more winter markets left, the second and fourth weeks of April. And then we have a three-week break between our last one in April and our first summer one when we go back outside on the 18th yeah. of May. And then we do every Saturday, uh, right through the end of October. Um, and today I brought you a little bit of springtime, summertime, um, and w- with ingredients you can still find at the market. This, this is sweet potato salad. Uh, made with sweet potatoes, obviously, and maple syrup because March is maple month. Oh, it does have a sweetness to it. Yes, it, it does. And, and it tastes like potato salad. It but does. But just a slightly sweeter yep, version. It's of made it. with um, uh, maple syrup and some sweet relish, um, a little less mayonnaise than people usually mm-hmm. use with yeah. the potato salad because you want to bring out those sweet flavors and the, and the sweet potato, the sweet potatoes themselves. So, um, screams a little bit of summer, mm-hmm. which we're all ready for. Yeah. You think? Um, watched the super moon last night, and it was like Wasn't somebody somebody put a big flashlight in our backyard, and it was great. It was bright last and night, and I was yeah. like, "Bring on the sunshine!" And I'm yeah. seeing tons and tons and tons of Canada geese flying back. So yeah, and I have to say, my mother and father always are looking for the first robin of the year, and I think that's long been. But I had like three of them in my, uh, yeah. my backyard last. Nigel and I were so. just saying this morning, we there both saw three. robins coming yeah. in this morning, yep. and that is a thing. Still, uh, you see the robin, you know, spring is finally well, here. Well, they come back in numbers. Robins will stay through the winter if they have a reliable food source yeah so if you see one in january you're not dreaming got it uh, <laughs> yeah so i'd be like okay but, spring's coming yeah but, uh, and it doesn't show up but yeah they do come back in in large numbers in yeah. the springtime so uh all right so and you can find a, a good beer uh at oh, the yeah. market I mean, as well right now and, and at the markets you can you know we like to entertain the adults too mm-hmm. so we have old time distillers uh old home distillers is with us right now um who give samples of everything they make and um, Stone Age Wineries with us, but Woodland has been with us in the past in the yeah. summertime, and um, you know we entertain. One of the uh, one of the things that I uh, I love over there is the the company that does the pepperoni with the cheese in the middle of the, the... cheese filled company. Yeah, that is yeah. yeah. Cool. He's not with us a lot during the summer. Mm-hmm. Um, they mostly focus their efforts in the Syracuse regional market, but they have been with us periodically. Yeah. They're always with us for the holiday markets, November December. Um, but they've been with us a couple times since the first of the year, and they always – I have to announce when they're going to be there. Yeah, it's a, because the weeks that they're not up. there, I always have people asking for them. So All right, cool. Uh, time is 9 a.m. until 9 to 1, 1. inside the train station main lobby uh, this Saturday. Okay, and Nagel, this uh, this one is quite flavorful. It is uh, called – 
what is it again? Principia. Principia. Yep. And it's Woodland, which is right. If you've not been up here, it's an awesome place. Yeah. And they'll fill your growler or your crowler or whatever it is I'm you want to. Pretty sure if you bring in a burned dairy jug, they'll, they'll do it. <laughs> okay, they'll do it. All right, all right. Well, I've got a few of those. I'm so going to try it actually. You should try that. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much. Nice You're job. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, I want to tell you about this forecast, even though Beth doesn't want to hear about it. Um, it's an indoor market, though. Really, Let's it is. Yeah. And I got a, and really the storm. This it currently is saying winter storm watch between tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. and it ends. That ends on Saturday morning. Now, normally that would mean the storm ends overnight, and it's really just flurries by by Saturday morning. That's if we get it. So a lot of this is going to depend on where this front goes. According to Rachel Witter, we'll keep an eye on the forecast well, I can through the tell day. The front where to go if anybody uh, she wants me to. So. Okay, <laughs> uh, I've been told we can't use those words uh, on the radio. That's why you yeah. got that little red oh, button. That's over on exactly the side, it. Right? Uh, so we'll check out. We'll have forecast updates all day long today for you on WYBX.